What's up guys, welcome back to another one of my videos and today we're continuing the AFC Bournemouth career mode content on FIFA 21 and it's an absolute belting episode this time out. We play Nottingham Forest who are genuinely trying to keep the pressure on us. Look at that, two points behind us, we're in second, they're in third, there's a bit of a gap between third and fourth. But we do have to keep winning and it's an away game against Nottingham Forest which makes it even more difficult. So that game's coming up in this episode. We've also got an away trip to Luton Town. Last time out we only managed to pick up one point in two games which was disappointing. We had a top of the table clash against Watford. Um, we lost that 3-0 but they did score two penalties so we can't be too disappointed by that. Uh, I do want to just check quickly the uh, Premier League table before we go into... The, the Forest game because I want to see who will be getting relegated and who we either will be playing in the Championship next season or we won't be playing in the Premier League next season. So if we look down here, Sheffield United, Aston Villa, Brighton and Newcastle, it l probably it's leaning towards three out of them four. West Brom and Southampton are still in the relegation battle. Um, so any of the bottom six can realistically go down. I think Fulham have stayed up realistically. So I feel like Brighton, Aston Villa and Sheffield United, they're getting slightly cut adrift, uh, as well as Newcastle United. So it's going to be a pretty tight one. We're going to keep coming back to that maybe every episode or two. Uh, but the Premier League title looks to be going back to Manchester, back to Manchester City. Uh, they are eight points clear at the top. Haven't lost a game this season. Everton as well, a surprise package there. They're third in the league. They're doing extremely well. Maybe Wolves, you could say, underperforming this season as well. Leeds having a decent season coming up. Uh, but other than that, there's not really many other um, surprises, I guess you could say. And also, if we do stay in the championship, who will be joining us? Oxford are pretty much guaranteed. Uh, Hull City in Portsmouth and Sunderland. It looks like one of them is going to get the uh, other automatic playoffs, uh, automatic spot. Um, it's pretty close in the race for the playoffs. I'd say there's still a chance. Well, well MK Dons are on 46 points. They're 16th. So MK Dons are 13 points off the playoffs in 16th place. Okay, that's very tight in the race for the playoffs in League One. But that's all we need to really check now. We're going to get into this Nottingham Forest game without any further ado. With our A-team, look at the fitness on the A-team as well. Jack Stacey obviously still injured, but uh, he's recovering well. So we're going to go into it with our A-team. We've just got to get the win in this. Um, yeah, we have just realistically got to get the win if we really do want to press on. And get automatics, which I'm really hoping for at this point. Uh, I don't, you, you guys can't see me, but I'm what I'm wearing my AFC Bournemouth home kit this season, getting inspired for a cracking episode this time out. Um, hopefully, this Bournemouth home kit will bring us some luck, and we can get a win away against Nottingham Forest. Our form hasn't been great as of late, but I'm hoping. That this can be the game where our form slightly turns. Josh King, 27 goals this season. He's flying to the top scorer in the championship this season. We've got to keep hold of him at the end of the season, you would have thought, unless we get a ridiculous offer uh, considering his age. I mean, his age is only like 28, 29, so he's only just reached his peak, probably. But this game could decide... If they, if they win, they go above us. If it's a draw, we stay two points ahead. And if we win, we go five points, five crucial, crucial points at this stage in the season ahead of uh, Forest. It's going to be so crucial. Whoever wins this game, whoever wins this game, I feel, has the advantage. If, especially if we win it. If they win it, it's still very close. Um... But if we win it, I feel like automatics are realistically with nearly within touching distance. Five points ahead of them now. Derek Wirt 
tries to put the cross in Rico. It's gone behind for a corner. Nottingham Forest, as you would expect, going for the win early on. They're uh, not leaving too many gaps at the back either, though. And this is, you can already tell early on, this is going to be such a tight game. Lerma out to Rico. Dan Juma's making a run, and that's a beautiful slide roll ball to play him through. Darwakria tries to get back, and Dan Juma's shot is over the bar. Both had a chance early on. That that wasn't that was only really a half a chance when the shot came in. But you know, and even if we win this game, we need to go into the Luton game and probably get a win there as well, away away from home in that one as well. I'm pretty sure. So two away games this episode going to be very tough. David Brooks, the commentator is going for a draw. That's a foul. Penalty or a free kick? Is it a penalty or a free kick? Oh, it's a free kick. I just heard the commentators say. <sighs> what a time to score our first free kick goal of the season. This would be if we could convert it. Oh, we can! It's Junior Stanislas! We have converted a free kick and it's the first one we've converted this season. And it's come in the most crucial game of our campaign. 15 minutes into the game and Junior Stanislas produces a moment of magic. Curling away from the keeper, he was nowhere near it. The wall had no chance either. It was just a beautiful, beautiful connection from the Bournemouth man. And we have the lead. We crucially, crucially have the lead. We haven't kept a clean sheet in a long, long time. And what a time it would be to keep a clean sheet. I actually didn't think we were going to score that because I am not the best at free kicks. But it was a very dangerous position to take a free kick. Joe Lolly has the ball out wide. It's going to go out for a throw. Touch the flag, but it's going to be a throw in in the end. Darikawa. Brentford 1, Middlesbrough 1. Wings levelled for the uh, visitors. Both of them in the hunt for the playoff spots this season. And I, I'm, I'm wondering if we do get automatics and Nottingham Forest settle, have to settle for a uh, playoff spot. I, I wonder whether they might actually bottle it. Uh, when it comes to the playoffs, or whether they will go ahead and win that game, win the playoffs, and get into the big time again anyway. There's a shot from uh, King there, blocked behind for a corner. Got to get a good delivery in here from Stanislas, and it's a pretty good one. Rico's shot doesn't really go anywhere. Guerrero, 28 minutes, we lead 1-0 in the most crucial game of the season, away at Forest. Away at Nottingham Forest, who are third place. We are second place. I can't stress this enough how much this we need to get the win in this one. Recover our form. Oh, the header from Josh King went straight at the keeper anywhere else. And you would have said that's surely a goal for us. We're applying the pressure here. This is much better than our recent performances in the league. Dan Juma's header is now straight at Smith. Woo. This is a great pressure from us. Nottingham Forest are, are passing the ball very poorly here today. Although that was a bad pass from us. Last 15 minutes we've had 70% of the ball as well as three shots. <sighs> you, you can't say we aren't dominating. Um, and there the header's gone miles wide. Actually it's a corner. It came off the Bournemouth man. Nottingham Forest need the equaliser soon. They're going to try and get it before half time. Begovic with a good save from the corner. Smith billing out to Smith. Again, he hasn't had the best. He hasn't been in the best of form recently. But he's certainly not done too bad in this game in particular early on in the early exchanges. Billing, that was a good tackle, but Amiobi's kept it. And he's probably going to swing this in. He is going to swing this in. Cook. Out to Dan Juma. And there is two minutes of stoppage time. Lerma. 
out to Stanley's house and we are probably going to get one last attack here before the halftime whistle blows. No, we're not, because he's blocked out wide by Ribeiro. And that's the halftime whistle. A pure moment of magic from Junior Stanislas to score a free kick like that. Quite rightly, the fans are definitely happy with him. <sighs> Maybe this kit that I'm wearing right now, this home kit for Bournemouth, is lucky. We're leading Nottingham Forest. Stoke are holding Watford to a draw at the moment. 1-1. Um, uh, so, what's this? Yeah, they're, they're all right on fitness. It's Ivy Lane, but it's not really. It's the Forest Park Stadium, I'm pretty sure. Smith. Billing. We could just play pass ball. Just, could just play keep ball, really, but that's not... Bournemouth's philosophy. Um, well, I mean, it is passing play Bournemouth's ph philosophy, but um, not really pass it around at the back like that, you know. It's quite exciting attacking football. Stanislas. That's a great corner into Billing. Oh, and it's Rico's shot. He's blocked. It was a beautiful corner. Just glided into the tallest man on our team. And it's back post to Billing again. Well, there has been a lot of speculation as regards Smith, to can he get the tackle in? No, he can't. Barco's gone to Atletico. I don't really know who Barco is, but he has gone to Atletico Madrid. Regardless, Smith, brilliant tackle. Oh, and then he's lost it to Amiobi. We can't. We need to cut out mistakes like this, especially in a game such so big like this one. Brooks out to Stanislas. Chance for a counter attack. And we've played King in behind. The shot is straight at King. And Stoke have actually taken the lead at Watford. Surprisingly, Stoke uh, got a draw against us. Um, oh, it's not the best of balls from Brooks. And it's not going to work out in the end. 30 minutes to hold on. 30 minutes here to try and hold on to get the victory. Billings won the ball back. It's come to King. Oh, and he's lost it. Trying to, I was trying to play Stanley's last three, but he lost the ball, unfortunately. Hang on. It says they play Luton Town next, but we also played Luton Town next. Uh, so that's a bit weird. They must play. They must not play for a bit longer time. Rico, Danjuma, Lerma, Brooks plays King onside. Tight moment. He scored! Surely! With 20 minutes to go. 20 minutes to hold on to a two-goal cushion now. Joshua King moves to 28 goals in this season. He's tearing apart defences. And Stanislas and King with the goals that come the end of the season might just send us up into the Premier League. This is a complete change in the form of late. And King's done his man. And the shot rattles against the post. So unfortunate for Josh King, the Norwegian. Could have got another goal. And I don't know why the Nottingham Forest man didn't even attempt to go to the ball there. But Stanislas King. Back to Stanislas, but he's just gone too far. And Smith got it out. Smith, the keeper, got it out. Amiobi. So. Luke Freeman. Freeman, Lerma. Lerma's been decent today as well. I mean, there's not really a player that's let us down, I wouldn't say, today. And we could be keeping a clean sheet. Yeah, we're away against Luton. February the 27th. That's our final game. Um, yeah, that's our final game of February. And there's only three months left of the season after that. Unless, of course, we reach the playoffs. Well, unless, of course, we drop down into the playoffs. Should I say sorry? 84 minutes. And we don't look like losing this. How, 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 how morale boosting would a clean sheet be as well? If we can keep one. Lerma's played King in behind. Not really in behind, but yeah. Oh, he's tackled by Worrell. That's a poor tackle. 
the captain is going to get booked here, you would think. Yes, a yellow card. <sighs> and his free kick range for Stanislas again. Oh, no, we can't take Stanislas off with a free kick opportunity like this. Two free kicks today, maybe? Got to time this right. Looks pretty nice. Smith had enough time to get across to it, though. And there's no goal has come from it. Ribeiro out on the wing for Nottingham Forest. They're not going to get anything. If they get a goal here, it will be a consolation, but they're not even going to get that by the looks of things. Billing, Stanislas up to King, and that's the full-time whistle. Not only the best win of the season, not, 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 not particularly the best win of the season, but... The most important win of the season, you must say. Not just that, a clean sheet as well. That's going to have so much impact going into the Luton game. <sighs> this goal from Stanislas set the tone. This free kick, this magical piece of magic. It was just a piece of magic from Stanislas. And it wasn't exactly a fast one. It was just placed so nicely. Smith just couldn't reach it in the end. Junior Stanislas set the tone and this was the goal that ultimately sealed the deal for us. The the Joshua King finish into the back of the net. That 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 was the goal that really sealed the deal. And so let's get the two goal win. As you can see the stats there tell you it all. The possession we dominated. Um, more shots, more on target, way more on target. We deserve the win, you've got to say. Watford losing at home to Stoke City. That'll be a nice little morale booster for Stoke. We are also in need of more points. Five points ahead now, Birmingham. Birmingham have closed the gap to three points to Nottingham Forest. They're only three points behind Nottingham Forest, eight points behind us. That win is just like... that win has put Nottingham Forest in a dangerous position and it's also boosted up into a better position really now so two new emails David Brooks oh, you, you, I'm proud of you David Brooks you're doing so well well most of the team is doing well uh, last game and that's more good news. Jack Stacey back from injury. Obviously, up until last game, Adam Smith wasn't having the best of um, games. Wasn't having the best of performances up until last game. But he um, he put in a good performance last time out. But I think it's time to go back to Stacey. Come on, can we get two wins on the bounce? We haven't had two wins in a row since... Well, last month. But we haven't had two wins in a row in the league. Uh, when was the last time? Since early December. Two months was the last time. Two months ago was the last time we had two wins in a row in the league. Can we now get it against um, Luton? It'd be so, so important. It, it would put our points tally up above... 70 we go up to 71 and if Nottingham Forest lost and Birmingham lost well I think that's a real that's really good and that puts us in a pretty pretty decent position to go on and and um get up but via automatics yeah I did go and scout some players uh in case we might want to bring some people up next season what I'm going to focus on if we get into the Prem, I keep assuming we're going to get into the Prem, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, we should. We should get into the Prem. That This is why I wanted to check the Premier League table, because I'm going to focus on if... Oh, Newcastle have dropped in and Brighton have come out of it with a win there. If Say say Newcastle, Aston Villa and Sheffield United go down. I'm going to focus on bringing uh, players from them clubs. Obviously, if they go down and we go up, they'd rather be at a club that's playing in the Premier League. So they would actually, it would probably be realistic as well to bring in some players. For instance, we could be bringing Callum Wilson back to the club or Ryan Fraser. Probably not, but maybe Ramsdale. Ramsdale from Sheffield United might be a good option. Obviously, being at the club before, 
He did really well last season for Bournemouth. 17th in the league, Luton Town. We're going to get into this game. Uh, do Yeah, we'll, we'll play in our away kit. Let's go and sort out some team management real quick. Uh, shall we? Shall, actually, we'll let Stacey have another game. Obviously, his sharpness is pretty low. So we'll have Smith on just for one more game. We'll put Stacey on the bench instead of Simpson. Um, obviously, because Kelly can play centre-back in case we need to make one of them subs. We'll bring Claude Maurice on for a start. Um, anyone else that we really... Uh, should we go Crowell? We'll, we'll put Crowell on the bench for Cook. And we'll put Cook on the starting lineup as well. In place of L Lerma. Yep, that's looking like a strong squad to go into this game against Luton Town. How crucial could a win be? And it'd be so good to get a victory. Whew. Versus AFC Bournemouth. Back at... Oh, no, this is Luton Stadium. It, it, it looked like a Dean Court slash the Vitality Stadium. But we're at Kenilworth Road. I, I, I know few of the championship stadiums. I actually like Kenilworth Road as a stadium. And I, I, I like Luton as a team. Obviously beat Bournemouth in the league uh, in December or November. It was somewhere like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure UNO Kane used to actually play uh, down at Bournemouth. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that. But... Come on. I mean, sorry, Luton, if we beat you, but... I mean, we should beat them. Especially considering we've just beaten Nottingham Forest and we've got a mora We've just been boosted by a lot of morale. Our morale's just gone up after that game, so... We, we, we are obviously the favourites. And... Oh, the shot is uh, saved by Sluger there from... Uh... King. I, got, I really can't get my words out today. Um, sorry, guys, but Rico does well to turn his man. He's going to take a shot, but that's gone wide. Miles, miles wide. A poor shot, poor effort. Had other options. Probably should have found another player there, but oh well. Still remains nil-nil after 10 minutes. Um, we, we've been putting the pressure on. Yeah, absolutely. They've been so professional in what they do on and off um. the pitch. They focus on each game. Oh, God, no. They're actually coming the forward. Mepham, Billing. It was a good tackle, actually. Brooks. Brooks. Well, you can tell what the Lewis Cook. Only really just come on for this game in place of Lerma. And that's a now, David, great that's pass through to right King. Now. As he's done so many times this season, King has scored to give us the lead. The advantage at Kenilworth Road has gone to AFC Bournemouth. A brilliant finish by King. It was a slide roll ball, first of all, from Cook to play it to Brooks, and then Brooks to play it to King. It was beautiful passing play. And we, we, we deserve that lead, in my opinion. First 15 minutes, we've dominated. Apart from one opportunity, we've conceded. But Mepham tackled really well there. King. Out to Claude Maurice. Into the area where Brooks is waiting. The headers at Sluger. That's like three opportunities, I'm pretty sure, in the last uh, couple of games that have, headers have gone straight at Sluger. Just not very clinical with that head, is all I'm going to say, but... I can't really complain. We're leading. How th this second goal could be very, very crucial. If we can get it, then I feel that's game set and match really. But um, if Luton get it, there's always still a chance for them to get back into the game and go on and win it. But 25 minutes played here. Luton nil, Bournemouth one. As we swing in the corner, it comes to King. His header hasn't gone straight to the keeper. His, he header, his header, sorry, has gone wide. Luton got to be more positive in their attacking play, although they, uh, they're getting dominated in midfield, which is understandable considering the calibre caliber of players. We have, ooh, Watford. Watford are actually dropping off form. They're losing at home to Swansea now. And are they staring down two defeats in a row? Their form would say they'll get back into this game 
uh, and their performances from earlier in the season would say they'd get back in the game. But Swansea aren't having the best of seasons. Stoke were having a bang average season in mid-table. Swansea were having a bad season and Brooks has been played in behind and Brooks has slotted it home. 33 minutes, David Brooks and King linking up like they do so often in this career mode. David Brooks finding King for the first goal and King finding Brooks for the second. An assist and a goal for either of them, for, for each of them. Collins brings it forward for Luton. Now I feel like with our dominance, with our dominant players, I'm pretty uh, certain we're probably going to get a positive result out out of this a win um but i can't get complacent i've got complacent like in the last few episodes and we haven't been getting results but today it looks like we're going to get our first two wins in one episode for the first time uh since the start of december which will probably have been about six seven episodes ago now um billing out to Stanislas with a peach of a free kick last time out. Joshua turning King. into a fan's favourite here. King. I actually tried playing that through to Brooks with a three ball, but King. didn't work out. King Joshua tried playing it through to Brooks. I think Joshua he would have been offside Joshua anyway. But it didn't get through. Cornick. Cornick is a younger player who there's a chance we'll go in for. It'll be a slight chance, but there's still a chance we might go in for him. Harry Cornick, a very very capable young footballer yet Watford losing 1-0 at half time against Swansea City Norwich nil Middlesbrough nil in that that's a crucial game in the hunt for the playoffs um and also what's this other game at the bottom Brentford 2 Huddersfield 2 that's an entertaining game then um but yeah that's uh that's all the other halftime scores and We've just got to concentrate on getting a result here against Luton Town. Um, I'll just make a quick sub at half-time. I don't really need to, but I feel like I'm going to take Billing off. Just rest some of my players, and I'll also bring Rick Elmay on for Junior Stanislas. There's two subs made at half-time. We'll save one of them for near the end of the game. Alexis Kral and Rick Elmay coming on. We're going to probably need to buy Raquel May on a permanent deal. I get... Did I do that? Did I do that right at the start of the season? I I'm not sure. But if we did, then that's a bonus. Lewis Cook shot from outside the area. Went miles wide in the end, and it's a goal kick that Sluger's going to have to take. It's really positive performances in these last two games from us. Yeah, Luton playing Nottingham Forest last time out. We actually saw that in the last game. Oh, Brooks' shot just over the bar. Sluger wasn't really near it. We'll just watch this again on the replay. It was pretty close to Sluger. Um, just not enough dip, really. But there was a lot of dip there anyway. Cornick's coming off. Trying to make some positive substitutions. Shinny's coming on for O'Kane. And we'll see. Shim Dong Woon coming on for Cornick. You don't actually expect um, Luton Town, a very English club, to be making many overseas signing. But here's one on the ball, an overseas player. A decisive clearance it was. Lewis Cook. Cook. Brooks, King, back to Brooks, and we're going to play Lewis Cook through, it's not quite worked out, Alexis Crow, you're quite far out of position there, maybe that's just your sharpness possessing you a little bit, but Raquel mate, that's a good interception, and Alexis Crow just lays it off to Lewis Cook, who then plays Claude Maurice out wide. Lewis Cook, another long shot, and Sluger's had to parry this out behind for a corner. 
It's whipped in. Lewis Cook's quite a small player. Uh, he actually got his head to it. Oh no, that's Steve Cook there. That's Steve Cook. I, I'm getting confused. I can't. I can't tell from a distance who's actually who, but he heads it over the bar. Well, is pretty short as well, actually. Oh, Huddersfield have scored again against Brentford. It's Brentford two, Huddersfield three in that game. Very, very entertaining game. Luton have a corner with just over 20 minutes to go. 20, 23 minutes to go. Oh, Crowler, great interception. Just as it looked like one of the Luton players was actually going to tap that home. It's a very, very nice interception. And he's, offside, he's offside there. Rico Mepham. Out to Alex Kral. Rick Helme, oh, he's just about tackled by Norrington. Davies, we got, yeah, we got an FA Cup game against Brighton. That's going to be an entertaining game. We are going to play it, obviously. In the Premier League, we're used to playing Brighton, but or in previous FIFAs when I did Bournemouth career modes, I'm used to playing Brighton. But obviously, this career mode, Brighton are in danger of coming down to the Championship. And obviously, if we go up then we're not going to meet next year in the Premier League because they're going to be down in the Championship and we're going to be up in the Premier League. But we're meeting them in the FA Cup and that's going to be so... Oh, hello. I don't know, I don't know why he's done that. Why has he done that? Because Luton have tapped it home. And it's an absolute ripper from... Is it Lua Lua? Um, I, I thought he was just going to take the shot here. But he pulled it back. One touch and a beautiful finish. Is it Lua Lua? It, it was an absolute magnificent finish. Yeah, Lua Lua. Kazenga Lua Lua. Seventh goal in the championship. And it's a clean sheet opportunity gone. But more worryingly, they're only a goal behind us now. It's Luton Town 1, AFC Bournemouth 2. With still eight minutes plus added time to go in this one. Diego, Rico, Alex Kral, Raquel May. Did well in like the December and November months when I was playing him more often, but uh, hasn't particularly done well when I brought him on as a sub in recent times. Maybe that's just because he's not had as much game time, so his sharpness is a bit lower. And Sluger's had to put his hand to that. Brooks has had some decent chances today. Uh, yeah, we'll just fresh legs, bring Dan Juma on, because he can play CAM, Dan Juma. Uh, we'll bring him on for Brooks. And that's headed down into the ground. And Sluger once again not taking any chances. Tipping it over the bar. It's a brilliant cross in. Oh, Hong King's headed it down and it's bounced over. If he didn't head it down, that looked like it might creep in. And it looked he, he was a free header, really. But he's headed it down, unfortunately. And one minute to, one minute to go. How much added time is there going to be as well? Four minutes, four hefty minutes, and it's going to be four of the longest minutes of some of these players' lives today. The Bournemouth players. Dan Juma. Claude Maurice. Is it going to be the longest four minutes of Bournemouth's lives, or are we glad it's four minutes? Sluga's saved it. It's gone behind for a corner, and I think this is going to be the last chance, and it's going to be for us. It's headed, and Alexis Krolls. So and that's full time. I mean, we should have got another corner there, but it's full time. And we get our second win in a row. So that's our first episode in quite a few, in about seven or eight episodes, where we've won two games in the same episode. Uh, in, the, in the league, anyway. But it's a positive performance there from Joshua King, say the commentators. And also a goal from David Brooks. Both of them two getting assists as well. Brilliant performance from our players. Unfortunately, we lost the clean sheet to a, just, just a very good finish by Lua Lua. One touch up in the air and then to finish it like he did was very nice. But we get the win. Dominated all over. 16 shots, 7 on target for us. Um, I didn't see the other results in detail. I didn't see the Watford-Swansea result either. But the FA Cup round five, if we beat Brighton, we get into the quarterfinals of the FA Cup for the first time in about 70 years, 60, 60 years, I'm pretty sure. 
was the fact I was told in real life as Bournemouth did make it through after beating Burnley. Did Bournemouth did make it through to the um, quarter final of the FA Cup in real life? Uh, so there was a fact like that. Um, so yeah, if we beat them, we get to the quarter final of the FA Cup for the first time in about sixty years. So that will be in tomorrow's episode, as well as the game against Sheffield Wednesday at home. So two home games uh, in next episode, back at the Vitality. Uh, so in three episodes' time, we'll have finished March. Um, and then four episodes, five episodes, and then six. So if we could just be six episodes away from the Premier League potentially six episodes and then we finish the championship season actually it'll probably be a seven because if we make it through to the uh, fa cup then we'll probably have to make that seven episodes but um i hope you've enjoyed it today um thanks for coming along uh, if you have enjoyed it go down below slap a like on the video hit subscribe as well uh, and turn that notification bell on so you never miss a video from me uh but until next time, I've been Hazard Junior Cherry, and I'll see you in the next one.